Hey guys, George here from Zero Productions, and today I am playing Subnautica on PC. By the time this video is out, the game will be out of early access and will have fully launched. I've wanted to play this game for a little while now, and I was lucky enough to get a review code just in time for its release. Also, even though I'm still playing in the early access version, because I'm recording this night before its release, I will fortunately be able to load my game when the game is fully launched and pick up from where I left off so I won't lose any progress whatsoever if I continue to make videos in this game. Let's do survival. I'll worry about my hunger, I'll worry about my thirst, I'll worry about everything. I'll drown myself, I'll starve myself, it's all wonderful. I am digging the music by the way, it's really nice, it's really relaxing. I don't know too much about the game, just a little bit. I've seen a couple videos here and there. I didn't want to look up too much about the game just because I wanted to go into it relatively fresh. Press any button to continue. Attention. God, I'm panting. Oh, I gotta get off. Oh shit, get me out of here. What did we hit that we have to launch? What did we do that... <laughs> Our ship is blowing up. Oh. Oh, there goes our ship. My ship. Hopefully I was the only one on it, otherwise everyone else is dead as shit right now. Oh. Well, yeah, I feel like that's how you die right there. That's the whole game, you die. Or you just have a really, really bad concussion now. Oh, no. It's a good thing I came to, it's a good thing that I woke up. Otherwise I would have just burned to death in here. Good fire extinguisher. Okay. Alright, excellent. Yeah, no, I figured out how to use a fire extinguisher. Good for me. Oh, it's still a little bit of fire. Still fire. Okay. Nope, still- Get out. No more fire! Okay. Everything's broken. Booting in emergency mode. I really like the style of the game. I really like the uh, design they've minor. made. Head trauma. No. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive: to keep you alive on an alien world. I appreciate it. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Press tab to open or close PDA. Uh, you have suffered <laughs> minor head trauma, which is, yeah, no, that is the optimal outcome for getting a hit in the face where it looked like the forehead with a very sturdy piece of metal. Databank. Okay, I don't want to close it just yet, but I guess it wants me to. One, two, three, four, and five to select corresponding quick slot. All right. Use the repair tool. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Need the repair tool, which I need to find. Okay, so we have flare, filtered water, nutrient blocks, alright. Need a repair tool. Let's see where that is. Repair tool. I need silicone rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. Okay, so I can't even repair this stuff in here yet. I have to... I have to go out and find the materials. Okay. Is that a manta ray? Oh no, that was a flying thing! Well, uh... There's my ship. The Aurora suffered orbital pile failure. Really? Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Oh, so it wasn't just my ship. Well, uh... I'm the sole survivor. I don't want to explain this back to, uh, HR. I feel like they're gonna suspect some foul play. Like, wouldn't, wouldn't you? It's like, oh, you're the only one who survived? Did you not wait for anyone else to get into es the escape pods? And I just go, uh, I, def I definitely waited. Alright, so we have... Metal salvage, okay. I'm just keeping an eye on everything, on my O2 levels and everything. Which I can't say, stay down here for too long, it looks like. I have 24 seconds left. 
So I'm gonna have to make a lot of trips just to find what I need, I'm guessing. Oh, wait, what do we have here? Cargo? Oh, can I not pick it up? Okay, okay, swim to service, swim to service, I got you. Oh, no. Oh, quick. Quick! Okay. 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 Yeah, this is gonna take a few, uh... Trips, isn't it now? <laughs> so I can't seem to do anything with these cargo crates yet, so maybe that's just something that comes up later. I can't seem to grab a decent amount of stuff that I've found so far. Well, there's nothing in that one. This is definitely gonna take a lot of different trips to the surface just to find... Everything that I needed. Oh, we got some limestone. I'm glad I can grab that with my hands, because I just can't really make anything right now, so... If I wasn't able to just break it off with my hands, I'd be kind of screwed in terms of getting materials. And I do like that it shows me where my craft is. Because otherwise, let's face it, I would just- I would absolutely lose it. Oh, and I can board it through the bottom. Look at that. Okay, that's good. Yeah, this is, uh... I'm gonna- I'm gonna have a lot of return trips. I- I know it right now. I absolutely am aware of it. So I need cave sulfur, so I should probably head into caves. Ooh, what do we have here? Quartz? Alright. There's a lot of quartz in here. I don't know what I need quartz for, but you know what? We're gonna take it. Limestone. Alright, give me that. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Ooh. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Oxygen. Sulfur is an essential component. Plausible's good. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it out of here in time. I'm not gonna make it out. I was not paying close enough attention. I hope I don't die immediately. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, I made it. Well, I think I made it, just in time. Because I'm guessing I was about to black out, but because I was already swimming up and I was already close to the surface, I made it just in time. That's what happens when you go searching for sulfur. I need... I need a bigger air tank. If I'm gonna keep making these excursions down here, because I just don't have enough air. Then again, I'm just starting off, so no, it's not going to be... Easy. Like, they're not gonna make it easy on me. I gotta get out of here. It's a little dark, and I gotta make it back up to the surface before I drown. Yep, no, I might not even have enough time for this. Oh, I wish I could swim faster or something. Nope. Alright, time to black out. Blacking out time. Wait. Yep, okay, okay. I'm making a lot of very close calls here. I can't get deep enough into the cave to explore more of it, so I think I need to come back to that cave when I have better stuff. What the hell? Oh, is Jesus! What was that? Oh, that's not good. Whatever that was that was not happy to see me, it's getting dark. I need to eat. Oxygen. Now, I know, I know, I know about the oxygen. I'm going back up. Calm down. Okay, it's... it's getting dark. It's getting very dark. I wonder if I could swim all the way to the ship. I wonder. Okay, so... Storage container. There is nutrient block. So let's take that since I need to eat. And should probably take a flare just to help light up the area as well when I go down. Didn't mean to hit pause. Alright, so let's eat the nutrient block. There we go. Uh I only have one first aid kit, so I don't really want to use that now. Unless it's something you can use multiple times, but I feel like that's not gonna be the case. Can't make any sustenance. What do I need for sustenance? I need... I can only make water. That's Detecting not good. Increased local radiation levels. 
trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core okay. sustained during planet fall. Okay, that would explain that. Silicone rubber, cave sulfur, titanium. Still didn't see any cave sulfur in there. I can make glass. Silicone rubber, I need creep vine seed cluster. Okay. Honestly, I'm just going to write down a list of what I need to get because otherwise I'm just going to forget it. So, creep vine seed cluster. And it was like a little yellow thing, sort of. Like a little yellow plant with a little bulb at the end. I can take an acidic mushroom. Or acid mushroom. I just... I just start tripping balls in my... Oh, in my little, uh... My little pod. So I'm guessing I need some sort of tool to harvest some of these plants, like the blue palm and everything. New I just grabbed an animal out of, <laughs> out of the water. What do I do with this thing now? I'll just hold on to that. Well, I'm a, I, I can check to see what it does, but I should probably not do that while I'm underwater. Let me get to the surface. And then open this up. Oh, edible prey fish. High calorie count. Okay, that's good. Because I need food, so I'm all set. Purple fungus, acidic flesh. Oh, I don't think I need this many, because it doesn't say it's food. So, I, no, I don't want this many of them. I can easily get more of them later, so I'll just do that. What the hell is this? Oh, cave sulfur! Oh, that's good. No, I know, I know. Oh, God, I gotta find my way out of here. Oh, every few seconds, just going back up for oxygen. No, nope, don't let me drown. Now's not the time for it. Oh, oh. I wish you could stay above water. Like, there's no way to stay above water, it seems. Oh, is the sun already coming up? I mean, yeah, it's a different planet, so the... The day and night cycle could be drastically different from anything that I'm used to. Like, it doesn't necessarily mean that the game has an accelerated, uh, time frame, or accelerated, like, time scale. It just means that it could be the planet that we're on. Discovered. I just keep grabbing fish. <laughs> I feel a little bad about it, but, uh, you know, at the same time, what am I gonna do? Not discover new wildlife? Oop, what is this? Metal salvage? Oh, okay, I can just break that down into whatever I need it to be. Oh, okay, this is food, but it also decreases my water. I just want to throw it. Like, honestly, I just want to throw the boomerang. I need water, and I know I'm in water, but I'm guessing it's salt water, and that's why I can't just drink it. Well, there's still a lot of things I need to figure out, because I'm still pretty much just brand new. I'm still starting off, so... I'm still just getting a feel for everything. I'm still just slowly learning everything. Now, what is this? Floater. Oh, that's, uh... That does not look like something I would want to hold with my bare hands. Definitely not something you would just want to carry around with you. Okay, we got a little salvage area right here. Oxygen. Let me just resurface first. And then we'll go back down. That is a lot of scrap right there. So there's got to be something that I can get from all of this. I'm going to have to clear up my inventory soon. Can't pick that up. Is there really nothing here that I can take or use? Beacon fragment. Let me take the beacon fragment. Let me build a beacon with the fragment of the beacon. No, oh, I guess there's nothing I can use. Oh, man. I got so excited. Once I make tools and stuff, I'm sure I can, like, break down this stuff or harvest it. But right now, just with my bare hands, there's nothing I can do with it. Okay, if I hold space, it lets me stay on the surface of the water. So that is good to know. Essentially, it's jump. It's the jump button, and it just lets me stay on the surface, which is which is very nice. It's nice to have that as a feature. Alright, so now... Well, there's a lot to do, so let me just look through everything. I can make... Oh, cooked food, alright. Yeah, I should probably cook 
the creatures I find instead of just eating them raw. Small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. That does make sense. That absolutely makes sense. Alright, so we have a few things we can build. I can make a standard O2 tank, which I have plenty of platinum, so that's probably just going to be good. New blueprint synthesized high capacity tank. Alright. I can make flare from cave sulfur. I want to hold on to my cave sulfur, though. Yeah, all I need is the silicon rubber in order to make my uh, repair tool. Which, I don't even know if that should be my first priority, if just, like, repairing anything here should be my first priority, or if I should just be focused on just various other things. So one thing I can do is I can make a floating air pump. And then from that I can build pipes onto it so that I can stay underwater for longer. It would seem. Which, I don't know if I'm going to do that now, but that's good to know. So I might do that at some point relatively soon. Okay. Well, I still, I mean, I'm still prioritizing my fix to secondary systems and everything. I still feel like that's going to be something I want to do. Because the more that I fix this baby up, like, this is my home base. I want my home base to not be smoking and shooting sparks everywhere. The last thing I want is another goddamn fire. I don't want to come back up and just see everything on fire and then I'm just swimming out here forever. That would be terrible. Ooh, okay, here we go. I think this is a creep vine cluster. Yes, oh, I can't break it off. Wait, no, I can't, I can't, okay. I got really concerned. I got really concerned that I wouldn't be able to. All right, my inventory's full, so let's go back up. I have over a full minute of air now, which is incredibly convenient. The fact that I can stay underwater for over a minute at a time now makes everything so much easier as opposed to, what, the 30 seconds or so that I had before? So that's definitely, like, the first priority is definitely just make a, uh, make a scuba tank. But now, I can make, oh, I can make lubricant with that. Or I can make silicone rubber. Alright, and now... Personal... Tools... Repair tool! Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. So now... Let's repair this. Wait. Repair it. I'm clicking, it's not doing anything. Oh, okay, it's right click, that's why. Okay, this also isn't the kind of thing where... Alright. It's not a permanent tool, it's something that I'll have to make more of over time. But at the same time, I can repair both of these things with... ...this one tool, and I still have plenty to spare. So... Okay, yes, good. Distress. Distress, distress. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Okay, that's promising. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Only nine, 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 nine hours? That's nothing. I, I just need to survive for that long. I can just sit here, right? I can just sit and wait for 9,000, not 9,000, 99,999 Continued degradation hours. of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Never mind. Continuing to monitor. Never mind. Definitely don't want to stay here then for the next, uh, 99,000 hours. That's probably not going to be, uh, my best idea. So we have to figure out a way out of here. Power is 59 out of 75, which means I'll need to make more solar power cells. Is there some way that I can turn off the power? Like, that would be nice. If I could conserve power by, like, switching it off. That would definitely be good. 
Okay, well, let me figure out what I want to make next, or what I should be doing next. I feel like equipment's probably gonna be... my go-to. Equipment and tools are probably gonna be the best things for me to do. Do I have anything to make a battery yet? I know, I'll, I'll figure that out, don't you worry. Alright. I can make a battery. It's a good thing I took all those mushrooms then. It's a good thing that they're very easy to uh, gain mushrooms. So let's do the scanner, yes. Alright. And... And a survival knife. All Weapons right. were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Let me just... I'm gonna have to monitor my... Uh, what's it called a little bit? Oh, this is already old. Food already get... Oh, food gets old very fast. Hmm. I'm gonna need to make a water run, because I'm already getting low on water. I still have... I still have some water. By which I mean I have one water. But... I'm gonna need to find more. And when I check my blueprints, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, you don't know how to make water yet. Which... <laughs> I don't know how to make water. On the water planet. Yes. Apparently, I'm just an imbecile. So I know that if I get the Seekers, I can get water from them when I cook them. S uh, peepers, not Seekers. My bad. But right now, that's the only real source of water that I know. It only gives me, what, three water, I think, for each cooked one that I eat? But that's still better than nothing, so that might just be a good way for me to kind of stock up slightly on water. But I might just need to kill other creatures and figure out what gives me the most water until I figure out a guaranteed method of, uh, of getting water. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Yeah, right now anything's a, a proven survival strategy. Right now, I'll do anything to survive. Okay, I can make filtered water from a bladder fish. So that's good. I can make... I, don't, I would never want cooked bladder fish then, honestly, just because I'd rather save bladder fish for water as a resource. I know, that's what I'm working on. I'm working on it. I can see how... It would be nice to do this without worrying about food and water, but at the same time, because this is my first time playing, I did want to have, like, the more traditional survival experience. I wanted my first time playing this to let me, like, experience the different aspects of the game, including food and water. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, wow, yeah. So, when you cook something, it deteriorates pretty fast. So once I get back into what I'm going to dump my decomposing cooked boomerang. So let's have... Okay, so one bladder fish equals 20 Vital water. Stabilizing. And then I'll have my cooked peeper. Okay, not too shabby, yeah. So, God, there's still just a lot that I need to do. There's a lot that I need to make. Habitat Builder. Wiring kit, computer chip, battery. I feel like that's going to be good if I make a uh, a Habitat Builder. Air bladder, emergency flotation device. Okay, in case I need to surface quickly. Oh, man, there's just so many options. Like, I, I just don't know where to start. 